Jesus Christ, Tommy, <laughs> don't be at that. It's only a bit of fun. What took you so long? I was beginning to think you weren't for coming. I was stuck on the Donegal Road. And as if I wouldn't have came. Thought you were getting bored of me? No, I'm not bored of you just yet, Miss Murphy. me every time and I hear it more often than not. Listen, I'll protect you. What a shit world we live in, Tommy. Yeah. It's only gonna get worse. What? Have we got here? Yeah, but it's getting here, that's the problem. You won't do anything stupid, will you? Can't make any promises. I mean it. One stupid decision and you could... All right, relax. Relax. Come on, let's go for a walk. Wait, I've got something for you. <laughs> you wee minx, <laughs> where'd you get them? Never mind, where I got them. I'll have a drink with me. What are you doing in the women's toilets, Bruce? Fuck off, Drummond. You can say it's none of my business. It's none of your fucking business. Well, then what are you doing in the women's toilets, Bruce? Look, I'm just feeling a bit wrong at the moment, OK? OK. Well, if you want to talk about it, then I'm oh, here. Spur me, your airy furry, namby pamby, car in the community, human resources, left wing, bullshit. I'm just worried about you, Bruce. What did you say? I said I'm worried about you, Bruce. All right. I see you're worried about me. No, no, don't flatter yourself. Because I think you're a silly, silly, little, little man. You fancy me? I have no interest in you apart from us having to work together. Just give in your instincts, darling. God, you know, you're pathetic. You're pathetic, you're an alcoholic. Fuck off. And you stink. And you know what, Bruce? You're the type of sad case that preys on weak-minded women in order to boost your own shattered ego. What about Karen the other night at the Christmas party? She was wasted, Bruce. Well, she shouldn't have fucking drunk then, should she? She wanted a drink, so she had one. She wanted a ride, so she had one of them as well. So don't you treat me like a fucking rapist. What are you so interested in her for anyway? Are you a lesbian? I'm not a bloody lesbian, Bruce. See, I have a boyfriend, and he's far younger than you. Far more intelligent than you and far more better endowed than you, Mr. Photocopy, you're enlarged. What did you fucking say? Come on, fucking hit me, Bruce. You're gonna fucking hit me, Bruce, yeah? No. Oh, my darling, I'm sorry. You sicken me. You repulse me. Can I make that any fucking plainer? I wasn't gonna hurt you, you know. I didn't mean it. As your colleague and as a human being, I'm telling you, you've got some stuff you need to sort out. Okay? And then you might become the type of person you seem to imagine yourself to be. Although Christ only knows what that is. I used to be good at this job, Amanda. I used to be a good person. Yeah. No, I... I've heard that. You got a wife, Bruce? Yeah. You got any kids? Stacy. <laughs> I think they've left me. I think my family have left me. And I don't know how. And I can't remember why. 
see, there's something wrong with me. There's something seriously wrong with me. Have you spoken to anyone? Have you been to see a doctor? Yeah. Yeah? No. I don't know. I don't know.